the conferences are limited to 100 participants in each of the 18 community areas and around 2,000 uh, people take part and that audience is carefully selected to provide a good cross-section of the local population. Um, at each event, there are eight themed tables um, and they discuss the data um, from the documents. They identify and agree uh, their priorities by consensus and voting and then each table reports back to the plenary um, and all participants in the hall get to vote uh, on the recommendations from the tables and validate the, uh, validate the recommendations. At the end of the session, each assembly has identified 30 priorities, 30 or so priorities for action. And then the theme groups then reconvene in the second part of the event to identify local community led actions uh, that would help to uh, address the priorities. And this part of the process is facilitated by the use of um, idea cards, and you can see them illustrated uh, in the slide here. And literally, they're just cards that identify community initiatives that have, have worked in other parts of the county or in other parts of the country. And those ideas are collected and curated by the council's community team in an online uh, repository called the Wiltshire Project Bank. Um, and the group select those ideas they feel that are needed and would work uh, in their own area. Um, and then when they come to implement those projects, they can learn from people who've done that elsewhere. So by the end of the evening, uh, priorities and actions have been agreed and the community area board is then charged with facilitating and uh, the delivery of the desired outcomes. So the boards then use their own resources, their grants, uh, they undertake campaigns, um, they work through their partnerships and they use social media um, to promote community-led action. And pro progress is reviewed every quarter and reports are sent back to Wiltshire Council. The Our Community Matters uh, assemblies are not just about identifying uh, local priorities and actions. Uh, as I've said, they also influence strategic policy. So after the local priorities have been agreed in each area, this data is analysed uh, and while there are always differences um, in each community, uh, there are also some trends and issues that are common across, across the whole uh, county. Uh, and the council and its strategic partners use this uh, to reframe policy and priorities at the, at the macro level. And interestingly, the outcomes often validate um, existing plans. Um, with consens consensus around some of the big themes in the county, such as loneliness, uh, social isolation, dementia, and mental health issues. Um, but I, I sort of think, or like to think perhaps, that there is a correlation between strategic and local priorities that because um, of the effective devolved governance and civic institutions that are actually uh, well plugged in to local views. Um, the other key benefit um, uh, at the strategic level is that it facilitates better targeting of dwindling resources. Um, rather than a crude distribution of funding and services based on notions of equity across the county, uh, we're now able to tailor um, resource distribution to meet local needs in a much more nuanced and efficient way. And this puts money um, where it's really needed um, and avoids, uh, avoids waste. So uh, at this point, um, we're going to reconnect with our original theme of governance. Um, civic institutions in the UK now rely on social capital. Now, that is the time, assets and resources held by local communities to deliver their, in their interventions. Um, and this may be through voluntary activity, through things like the local lunch clubs, dementia cafes, sports clubs, welfare charities, food banks, walking groups, men's sheds, for example or through specifically targeted interventions. And the community area boards support local activity through their grants, the money that they hold uh, locally, uh, so, and also through direct commissioning. Um, and th this is really interesting. In, in 2020, um, the time I left um, Wiltshire Council, every one pound that the area boards were invest investing locally was uh, leveraging five pounds of community investment. That might be cash, that might be time and resources provided by um, volunteers. So from a purely economic perspective, 
devolution and community governance makes sound financial sense. Um, but it is, of course, much more than about, it's about much, much more than simply mitigating the impact of austerity. Um, it's about local communities being co-producers of their own well-being. Uh, it's the local communities taking the lead and being part and being at the heart of service delivery. Um, and I think if we look at a short video now, um, which highlights some of the community led outcomes that have been delivered through the Our Community Matters process. So let's just have a look at that now.
That was um, an outcome video. So at each of the community conferences, each area had its own video showcasing the uh, activities and projects that had been delivered um, over the preceding two years. Uh, so you have to imagine that that level of community activity is replicated uh, 18 times across the county and it shows uh, the power of um, community governance and community empowerment. So 